At this point of the year, I really start to focus my fishing in. During the summer, I like to explore a lot of spots, I like to try new things, but by the fall, school started up, work is back in, and I really can't swing long sessions like I like to do. So this trip, I went to the Ohio River to do some lure fishing. That can be really productive sometimes, it can be really difficult from the bank. I'm fishing it at its absolute lowest, it's about 14-15 feet, that's about as low as it'll get here in Evansville. So when you're fishing in these kind of water conditions, you have to be really, really careful where you're fishing. When I'm fishing this, I like to fish right on the rock walls. I find that a lot of minnows like to school up on these spots because there's a lot of safe cover for them. And because of this, a few predatory fish will stop by those spots. On this trip, I managed a spotted bass, a beautiful long ear sunfish, and oddly enough, I caught a skipjack that took a lipless crankbait all the way. When I'm trying to lure fish from the bank on the Ohio, I tend to be much more particular about the lures I'm fishing than when I'm fishing a lake. A lot of times soft plastics are much harder to get hits on, just in the nature that they're not putting out as much vibration. So today I fished things that put off a lot of vibration. I fished lipless crankbaits, I fished inline spinners, and oddly enough because the water was so clear I'll even fish spoons when the water is like this. And each of the fish I caught in this video were on those lures. Sorry about the short video, I only had a short time to fish this week. But as always, good luck and tight lines guys!